Hey guys, this is a quick uh, response video to a question I got on one of my YouTube channels. What's the difference in belt drive conversions where you maintain the quill versus the no quill belt drive conversion? Now I opted for the no quill conversion and to answer the question just real fast, the difference is how you drive the spindle. The way that I did it was I have a pulley that slides down over the spindle shaft and then using set screws in the pulleys, uh, there's one, two, and three, I engage in the splined shaft and I actually spin the shaft. Now the other way to do it, okay, so if you do it this way, you can't use the quill anymore. And the reason is when you, when you use the quill, the splined shaft goes up and down. Because I have a pulley locked onto it, you can't do that. So the way that you maintain the pulley or the, the quill functionality is by driving uh, this part of the quill. And what you can do is, and, and I know there's conversions out there, I'm not really sure how they do it exactly, but they use, they somehow use these two screws to hold the pulley on, and then uh, the pulley spins these two screws, spins the whole thing. Now I imagine if you crashed it super hard, these two little screws may not be enough. Um, frankly, I think they are going to be enough. Okay, so that's the difference. Drive it by the spline shaft, drive it by these two screws. Now, let me give you some pros and cons. A lot of people don't like the idea of driving it by the spline shaft because when you put tension on the belt, right, you're actually pulling the spline shaft and flexing it, or some people say. Now, I don't know if there's any measurable flex or not, but uh, what I will say is, and I don't know if this is contributing, my belt drive conversion is insanely loud. It's super uncomfortable. In fact, some days I wear ear protection because I can't stand listening to a howl. Now, I think I know what the problem with that is, and I'm going to address that here in just a minute. If you think that's an issue, there is a uh, 3D printed file, and I know if you search Haas's uh, G0704 thread on CNC Zone, you can actually find a link to this, but there's a 3D printed bushing uh, that you can print and put down inside the quill, and it will engage the spline shaft, and that's supposed to get rid of any flex. Whether or not that's needed, I don't know. Now, it was YouTube and Linux CNC user library that helped me with this build. He's driving his by the spline shaft, and he says he pushes on his motor as hard as he can to tension the belt, excuse me, and he's never had any problem with, uh, with the shaft flexing, and I believe he says his belt drive is, uh, is quiet and comfortable. Uh, mine's not. Now let me show you why I think mine isn't. The way that my pulley is, uh, you can see I've got it grooved out here to go around these two screws. Let me pull you in a little bit. Okay. Now here's the problem. These screws are sticking up into the, uh, into the pulley area and my belt is slowly getting destroyed by those two screws. You see all these notches in it? Look how tore up that is. So this belt is garbage and I think that that's what's causing a lot of the howling. Um, I hope that's the problem. I've tried you know as much tension as I can possibly put on it you know a little bit less tension, less tension. I can't seem to get rid of it. The noise is always there. It may be the type of belt Frankly, I don't need one of these, uh, I don't know what they call these, positive location belts or positive indexing or whatever you call it. I may just go with a ribbed belt, like uh, the kind of rib belt that you see on most car uh, serpentine belts. So I may switch over to something like that. I, I'm not sure. If anybody has any ideas, I'd be happy to hear them. Anyway, what I've done is I've created this plate uh, on the lathe. It's 116 thousandths thick. Actually, I think it came out to about 120. Uh, which is just tall enough to get it over these screws, the screw heads. And then it's a 1 inch 800 outside diameter. I shot for 850 thousandths inside diameter, but then I know I had to open it up a little bit. Uh, so maybe maybe 860 or yeah, something like that. And then I just uh, laid out and quickly filed those notches in. And you can see I got a pretty nice fit. It goes on here really snug. It's got to be lined up just right. There we go. Perfect. No wobble at all. And then I, ha I had a hub that I had left on the bottom of this pulley and I machined that hub off. And uh, that now allows us to sit on there perfectly flush. So I've just got to re uh, blue Loctite and put my grub screws or my set screws back in. That'll be locked down and then I can put my belt back on. The only thing is I'm not sure if I may need to uh, raise up the motor now because I've lifted this up uh, almost an eighth of an inch I may need to raise this plate or the standoffs shim those up 
we're, we're going to find out uh, here in a minute. But I'm hoping that tamps down on some of the loudness. Um, we'll see. Also, I've, I counterboard the top of this pulley about 300 thousandths, and I think I mentioned that in an earlier video, and then it ended up being too deep. So I made this small steel spacer, uh, which drops down in. But now that I'm using up 120 thousandths worth of threads, uh, my top hat won't go on. It won't engage the threads anymore. So now I'm not going to be using that, and my top hat will go on, and uh, yeah, I'll be in good shape. Anyway, I hope that answers uh, your questions about to quill or not to quill. And uh, scroll down, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to ask other questions. If, if you need a video explaining something, just ask. I'm happy to do it when I have time. I apologize it's been so long since I posted a video. My hard drive died in my computer, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And I've got, I bought a new hard drive and I got Windows back up, but I knew I was going to be building a new computer, so I haven't installed my video editing software. My new computer parts come the day after tomorrow, so I'll hopefully get that together pretty soon, and then I can get back to editing videos and get the rest of my belt drive conversion uh, series wrapped up, because I feel like it's, well, it's been taking forever. It's been like a year in the making. It's ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.